So, if you are planning to come to Doha to work here, watch this video until the end. So you will know everything you need to know about coming here, coming to work here, and everything else in between. Without talking too much, let's get into it. I've been here for seven years, worked in four different companies, so I know a little bit about coming to Doha and the visa and the companies and the contracts and all that. So a lot of people do ask me about every single day almost. There's, a, there's somebody messaging me or asking me about, man, I want to come to Doha. This is especially for Gambians, but it applies to everyone else who's outside of here who wants to come and work here. I frequently get messages from people asking me, I want to come to Doha, I want to come and work here. And I feel like I explain and explain and explain and give the same answer and information to all these different people from all parts of the world or many different countries. So I just decided, let me make this video and put it on YouTube. So <laughs> next time anybody asks me about this, I'll just tell them to watch this video because I really get tired of explaining to people. So this is what you need to know. If you want to come to Doha, if you want to come and work here, there are two ways that you can do that. This is especially for Gambians. You can get the visa from wherever you get it from. There's people that will promise you that they can sell you a visa or maybe you have a friend who can bring you here through a visit visa or however. That's one way you can get the visa on your own. Then come to Doha, then look for a job. That's one way I know how. And I'm just being honest here, I'm telling you exactly what I know. You can get the visa by yourself, maybe you pay someone who helps you to get the visa from through an agent, through a friend, get a visit visa, apply for whatever. Get your visa and come here, then look for a job. The other way is you can apply for a job online when you're in Gambia or when you're in Morocco or when you're in wherever country you are, you can apply for a job online or get somebody here to help you get a job through a company then that company will apply the visa for you buy you your air ticket and you come and start working now difference between these two ways major difference the difference is if you get the job before you come here through online you apply for a visa the company you apply for a job the company calls you and give you an interview and do all their procedures and hire you to come here what happens in that way is you get to know what your salary will be before you come here you get to have your contract in your hand you can read it you can accept it you go through all the procedures so by the time you get here you already know that there's a job waiting for you your company is gonna uh, buy you the air ticket to come here they'll pick you from airport take you to your accommodation and the next day or the day after that you get started to work and it moves on from there wait the other way is that you buy the visa I don't know if that's even, I don't know what is the law around that, but you can get the visa on your own through an agent, through a friend, through whatever. And once you arrive here, you start looking for a job. Now, in this scenario, you bring yourself, when you arrive here, you have to get your own, if you want to stay here, like you don't have a job, right? You From the airport, you're on your own. If you get the visa through an agent, most of the agents will not even pick your call when you arrive here at the airport. So from just imagine that you're on your own from the airport. You have to find a way where to sleep, you, your food, your accommodation, the money you're going to be paying, going around looking for the job, it's on you and all that. If And let's say you have a friend here, let's say you're my brother. If you come, I cannot lodge you, I cannot keep you in my house because most of the people working in Qatar are living in company accommodations which means the company set the rules in this accommodation and one of the rules is usually that you cannot bring people from outside who are not working in this company to live in this house with you so even if you're my brother i'll not be able to bring you to my house because this is not my house this is company house they just give me a space to live in so imagine that it's going to be on your own your rent your food the money you're going to be paying it's not like in gambia where you can walk around and do your thing here, wherever you're going, you have to pay a taxi or bus, or now they have the metro, but that's the means of transport. It's not working because the, the, this place is not built for people walking. 
everybody uses a car it's taxi it's your own car it's the bus however but you cannot walk around because of the you can go to a highway and have to stand there for five minutes before you before the light turns red or green for you to pass so it's not for walking secondly when it's summertime it gets too crazy hot you cannot even stand outside for a minute forget walking so you cannot walk you have to pay money for transportation you have to pay money for food you have to pay money for your accommodation and it can get pretty expensive if you're not working it is expensive even for people working so all this thing you have to plan <laughs> that ahead if you are coming here before you get the job and nobody knows when you're gonna get the job you might be lucky and have the job tomorrow i don't know you might be here for one year and not have the job i've seen people here for one year and have a job i've seen people here go back home because they couldn't find a job so if you want to come here by yourself get the own get your own visa however you get it and bring yourself here and want to look for a job these are all things you have to plan ahead your food your accommodation your transportation everything you're going to be needing just imagine that's on you so my suggestion to people is always that if you know that it's going to be really expensive for you and also you're going to have to after three months you need to get your residence permit if you want to stay here so if you bring yourself you're gonna have to get that residence permit on your own blah 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 it's all on you basically but if you the, the the way so now you understand the two ways company hire you from home bring you here they get everything prepared for you you start working or you find your own way to get the visa and come here and now you're on your own your residence permit your health whatever it's on your own you have to pay that for yourself now you get the two ways the way that I suggest for people is to get try to apply for, for a job through a company because it's the easy way. The company hire you, you come here, you start working, everything is prepared, no problem. You don't disturb people, people don't disturb you and that's it. Later on if you want you can change your job, whatever, whatever, whatever. If you bring yourself, it's on you. If you don't have a place to sleep, don't disturb people. If you don't have food to eat, don't disturb people because if you already see a video like this or you talk to someone who's here they will give you this information so when you come here because i've seen it people come here and they get really miserable they cannot have a place to sleep or eat or whatever or maybe they even sell their property and invest in coming here and once they come here it's nothing like they expected i've been to a lot here myself and a totally different story on its own i'm probably going to make a video on that but for now this is just what i wanted to explain maybe i'm talking too much i don't know if you're even understanding what i'm saying but the point is you can bring yourself on your own arrangements i don't know you can apply for a job and come under the company it should be easy to understand if you come under the company that means before you come you get your visa you get your contract you know how much you're going to be making blah 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 if you agree you sign the contract they will buy you a ticket get you a visa bring you here give you accommodation you start working if you bring yourself it's on you you bring yourself <laughs> at the airport you have to pay to wherever you're going to live you have to wake up every day and look for a job and nobody knows when you're going to get this job even if you have a gambian friend or brother or whatever here most likely they will not be able to keep you in their house and most likely they will not be able to give you a job so this is how it is now the choice is yours i wish you well peace